uh, I'm headed to terminal. I'm headed to Terminal Fest. Terminal V. Terminal, yeah, Terminal V. Terminal V is what it's called. It's an outdoor music festival. Two days, but I'm going to one day. I'm going to the Sunday in, um, in April, in like two weeks, in Edinburgh. Really, really exciting. Let me show you all the, um, the lineup. Um, you know, hopefully, maybe you're heading to, if you're heading to Terminal V, I'm pulling up solo. I'm pulling up, um, I'm pulling up solo Billy No Mates. Uh, this is the second time I've done this. I went to one, I went to Gala Festival in London two or three years ago, solo. Kind of a bittersweet experience. The thing about going to gigs, gigs solo is not a big deal, right? There's probably lots of people who go to gigs solo. Not lots of people, but, you know, weirdos like me who have no friends. Um, Festivals is different. Festivals is different. All right, festivals is is a much is a is a quite an audacious thing to do, um, because it's it's even more communal than the gig, right? At the festival, you've got legitimate, you know, groups of ten and twelve who have planned it out for twelve months. They've even booked a flight, right? I mean, I don't think there's gonna be. That's also what's cool about this is because it's Edinburgh and it's not like Ibiza, right? There's not gonna be that many foreigners. I don't think there's not gonna be like Greeks and Germans and stuff. I think it's mostly gonna be. I think, I think, I don't really know. I think it's going to be more of a local little scene, kind of Scots and maybe Irish and Brits, um, which is cool because I've seen some cool, there's that legendary Faux Amour. Uh, why did I say that so pretentiously? Faux Amour, right? The the um, <laughs> the uh, the French DJ. Uh, he's got a, there's a legendary video of him performing somewhere in like Belfast or Ireland and the, the crowd, man, I, I know they, they, they drink up there. They drink and they have a good time and they like to have a laugh and, they're a good little crowd, aren't they? The um, the Irish and the Scots. So um, so uh, so yeah, it should be cool. It should be cool. So, all that being said, I'm pulling up solo. So if you um, if you have a cool little friend group, you know, a little artistic, uh, photo kind of uh, photo kind of vibe, um, I would love to uh, I would love to maybe tag along. That being said, I'm also not you know I'm also not dying to um, to kind of latch myself onto a group. There are some positives to going to um, to going to festivals alone, right? You kind of you're on your own schedule, right? If you if you like this one stage and the rest of your friends are over there, you don't really have to feel uh, ashamed or you know you, there's no kind of you're, you do you do whatever you want, right? There's no kind of no um, what's it called compromises, right? You just I'm doing me. I want to see X Y Z. I'm doing that. I don't care. You you do you, right? Um, so it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool in that sense. You just kind of get to float around, um, but it would be cool to make some. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get to Edinburgh on Thursday and I'm going to try and, you know, if I'm out in the city and kind of seeing some little 25 unders or 30 unders, I'm going to, you know, say what up and see if I can, um, if I can't, you know, have a little WhatsApp contact just to say, hey, I'm here, you know, where are you guys at? I would love to, um, you know, have a little brew or have a little, um, have, you know, join their little circle for a bit, right? Um, so all that being said, um, what else? Yeah, I'm pretty, pretty, pretty pumped up. Terminal V. Terminal V, it should be, um, this is my first gig in a while, I haven't been to a gig, oh my god, I couldn't even tell you, I couldn't even tell you, um, it's been a long, long, long time, and it's going to be a first for me, there's going to be a first, so let's get into, um, let's get into who I'm seeing, and what I'm saying about it, um, also, th- this is going to be at, um, this is going to be at the venue itself, I'm not super sh- convinced by, it seems a bit kind of, eh, whatever, right, it doesn't seem that interesting, um, but, you know, Outdoor Fest, one thing I gotta, I gotta be careful about, I gotta bring sufficient clothing. I gotta bring sufficient clothing. I'm gonna make a video. I'm gonna make a video on my Terminal 5 experience, Terminal V, Terminal 5 experience. Um, it should be cool. I'm thinking even if I, I'm gonna wanna punch myself, like I'm gonna wanna, I'm gonna be disappointed if I don't bring the camera and then it turns out that, you know, imagine, right, it's sunset, it's like these beautiful visuals and it's all really cinematic and amazing and there's lots of really cool looking people who would have talked to me and done interviews with me and stuff. Um, so I have to bring the camera. You know, it's going to be kind of annoying to have on the hip, you know, this big old DSLR, but I have to bring it. I have to bring it, um, especially because the media policy allows you to bring cameras, which is uncommon um, for these kind of festivals. Uh, but uh, but yeah, I'm going to make a video about my whole experience. All that being said, you do have to be a bit strategic with it, right? Because let's say you want to see, uh, you know, um, three different artists and maybe they could be all be on at the same time, right? On three different stages, right? So you do have to kind of pick and choose. You got to kind of forfeit one and gain in the other. So check it out. So this is, there's six different stages, four different, six, six. All right, this, <laughs> let me tell you something. This stage right here, you won't catch me at, at all. The kind of, I've already gotten in, I've, I've, I've touched on this in another video, techno, the kind of boom 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 the kind of it's it's, most of it sounds completely devoid of rhythm and it's just not my thing let's leave it at that it's not my thing i don't think it's good um so i'm gonna leave that stage to the um those people whoever they are uh this stage also 
looked up a couple sets on YouTube and wasn't too impressed. I might not really, I don't, Maceo Plex I've heard of. I might need to go back to this one, but um, don't, don't think I'll be catching myself here. Uh, this one, I think I looked up, I think I looked up a couple of these people also wasn't really convinced. Um, I know it sounds like what the hell are you doing at this festival if all these are not your thing. Here's the half, yeah, here's the half, which is my thing. So Green Velvet would be cool. That'd be kind of big room, kind of Fisher Tech House, which is fine, right? It's okay. Um, eats everything, same thing, kind of poppy tech house. Uh, let's see, Jamie Roy is a bit smaller. I looked him up. I might slide over there. I'm going to get there early. So I'm, I looked up Jamie Roy on YouTube and he played some cool little stuff. So I might slide to his, um, I might slide to his set. I'll be there early. Uh, Malgrab is obviously a legend. Didn't even look him up again because I just know his stuff is good. Um, couple, couple interesting little names here. Check this out. So Effie, Effie is a chick that I just, um, is a chick I just got put onto. I just discovered because I'm going to this gig. So I looked this chick up and, um, and check out this track. Check out this little track right here. Ooh, wee. Check this out. This is a little bit of a banger. Check this out. I'm saying for sure, Effie. That, by the way, um, that by the way was her debut uh, single. How exciting is that? So I don't know where this chick is from. She might be a Brit or Scott or something, but um, very, very cool. And she's a chick, which is always cool uh, to kind of be, um, yeah, you know, not all just a bunch of white dudes uh, in the scene. So, um, so that is pretty cool. So I'm excited to. Uh, I'm gonna definitely slide to her set. That is very, very exciting, Effie. Chloe Robinson, Chloe Robinson also saw, also saw something a little uh, interesting, something a little bit eye-catching from her in another set. So I'm gonna slide. That could be a good little stage for me, cargo. Um, and then this is obviously this is obviously the um, this is obviously where you will be catching me for probably half the day. The greenhouse, right? Uh, I think I looked up Alien Communications, Prince, and maybe Hammer, and wasn't very convinced. Um, Roy Prez, I'm forgetting. Cynthia, I believe, was good. I saw something curious, um, and then Carrie Chandler and Chaos, ooh we. Oh my gosh, okay, so I just saw a fantastic set on YouTube with Carrie Chandler. Carrie Chandler also very, very cool because that's kind of some, back to kind of the house roots, right? The kind of communal love and, and community and, and this kind of really cool, you know, really cool little message and kind of oh, the whole kind of vibe is fantastic, right? It's all very, it's it's really cool. He plays really cool stuff. I like his, you know, he's got, you know, system, what was it, um, you're in my system, something like that, you know, that's, that's a legendary track, you know what I'm saying, so, um, so I've been listening to that, and I've kind of forgot how many good songs he has, um, and he, he should be cool live, right, he's a, he's a proper head, he's been, he's a, he's a proper, you know, disc jockey, he's been doing this for, for decades, you know what I'm saying, so he's, he's legit, um, interesting choice here, Chaos is going after Kerry Chandler, uh, in the kind of prime 21, th you know, 930 slot, I'm excited to see chaos, all right? And who am I to, you know, who am I to kind of make demands and to, I'm just, I'm expressing a bit of concern, okay? Of course, right, if you, if you, if you're gonna, if you look at a DJ or a producer and they do 10 sets, right, you look at 10 mixes on YouTube, it makes sense that not all of them are gonna be exactly your thing, all right? But I did see chaos, I saw a set at Razzmatazz or some Barcelona kind of institution and damn, you know, they, they, they sometimes have a, a tendency to kind of go a little bit too left for my liking. And their stuff is already kind of weird, right? It's already a bit sort of, um, it's quite atmospheric. It's quite kind of dubby and jazzy, which is great. That's definitely my thing. I'm saying, you know, they, they, they have a bit of this sort of, you know, let's put some jungle kind of animalistic sounds in there, which is, it's cool, right? But you kind of, it's a, it gets a bit alien. It gets a bit, um, it gets a bit extraterrestrial, a bit like, okay, I've, you've lost me, right? So I've seen some sets where I'm like, oh boy, you know, that, that went left and I didn't like that. Um, but also I've seen some other sets in, you know, Paris and London and stuff where it's absolutely my vibe. You know, deep, jazzy, rhythmic, funky, you know, she's, 
mm, you know, it's it's just really it's just really really good. It's just really really good. So, little bit nervous, little bit nervous about that one. But um, but think hoping that that is just going to be a banger of a set. Hoping that they can can come in after after Chandler after Kerry Chandler and really I can I can you know we can ride that wave as a crowd as a group um, as a kind of at, at you know as a, as a gig right as a, as a festival uh, you know hoping they don't really drop the ball. Um, I saw some some video or something where basically in, in Chandler's day, right back in the day, uh, you know, even if say f- you know, there's four DJs, right, you're at the club and there's you know a DJ who should be going on in 15 minutes, supposedly way back when, if you were if I if I was on fire, d- d- get out of my face. I'm a, I'm a stay. I'm a stay. I'm a stay on the on the um, on the controller. I'm a stay. I'm a stay on the on the um, on the on the. Uh, uh, I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna stay spinning. I'm gonna keep spinning. I get it that you were supposed to, but if right when, when supposedly back in the day, the DJ, if he was, if if that person was really killing it, you know, I'm sorry, man, but you know, I'm I'm gonna stay here. I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna keep spinning. So um, and now I think there's a complete, you know, that that doesn't happen, right? If if Fisher's going on at 11:30, Fisher's going on at 11:30. Opener, get get out of my face, right? Take your little money, get out of here, um, which is a shame. Uh, it's a shame. So, um, so yeah, my thing is, right, I'm hoping that Kerry, Ch- you know, Kerry Chandler is going to be fantastic, for sure. And, uh, and you just hope that chaos, right, kind of maintains the sort of, um, the sort of energy. Uh, that's the only um, cause, for, for cause for concern. Uh, but anyway, if you are heading to, um, to, what's it called, Terminal 5, I would love, love, love to, um, to, to link up. I would love to be a little, um, a little 13th wheel for a little bit, right? I, I kind of like to do my own thing. But, um, but yeah, if you got a cool little, cool little group heading there, um, we should totally link up. That'd be sweet. Because um, I am a, I'm a, I'm Billy No Mates, you feel me? I'm Billy No Mates for the day. Um, so, all that being said, very, very exciting. I'll also be going to, um, I'll be heading to Phonics. Uh, I'll be heading to Phonics. Um, I'll show a couple of pictures on the screen from. Um, let me actually uh, let me actually pull these up and um, credit this chick. A couple of cool pictures here. This is Izzy Wiley. A um, couple of nice pics from uh, from Phonics. It's pretty great. I'll show some. Uh, I'll show some other ones while I'm speaking. But yeah, these are by um, these are by Izzy. She um, I saw her get reposted by um, by Louis Shen. Uh, who did a gig of phonics recently? So very very exciting to be going to phonics. I'll be there the following weekend on the Friday at um, at uh, Nightmares on Wax, which should be pretty exciting. I'm really 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 pumped up. It'd be cool to check out some other venues. I've already been to phonics, and I really haven't been to the large majority of of London clubbing institutions. Um, but it's also kind of cool to an extent to kind of go back to a place, and I've kind of got a you know kind of a tradition, right? I'm, uh, that can be the spot where I look back, and yeah, I've been I've been going there since my. Since my young twenties, um, I was already I was already there a couple years ago. So um, yeah, really cool club. Really like the ambiance, and I'm um, I'm pretty pumped up to see it. All right, I think one last touch to kind of end it on a bit of a um, a bit of a uh, it's a bit of a what would you say? Yeah, kind of a um, kind of a cautionary note, I guess. Uh, this was a um, this was a little piece in. Um, in Lobes, Lobes, I think, je, je crois qu'il s'appelle uh, Lobes. C'est, c'est un magazine um, français, un magazine, un magazine. C'est un, c'est un magazine français uh, qui est vraiment sympa, vraiment super. Je, j'adore, j'adore ce, ce magazine. Uh, quand j'étais, quand je suis allé en, en France il y a deux mois, trois mois, uh, j'étais dans l'aéroport. Et j'ai, j'ai, acheté, um, j'ai acheté ce magazine. Um, and it's, it's really quite cool. It's really quite cool. I thought it was really well done. Il y a, il y a des articles assez intéressants. Uh, un sur la, la chasse, une querelle, une querelle, une querelle française, uh, sur la, le, con, le sujet controversé de la chasse en France. So, this was a pretty scary little piece. This was a pretty scary little piece. So, um, so check this out. This is uh let's see if I can read this. <laughs> I'm committed to the um to the candle bit. It's um you know great for the eyesight, isn't it? Uh, this is La Nuit, le Trou Noir et le Spectre de GHB. À Londres, Paris ou Bruxelles, des dizaines de personnes disent avoir été droguées uh, à leur insu dans des bars ces dernières semaines. Certains ont été violés, d'autres cambriolés. 
uh, uh Yeah, so what's happening is, by the way, GHB, I'm, I'm pretty conservative when it comes to the whole drug scene. I haven't done coke, I haven't done anything. Um, so, uh, so GHB is like a, um, it's like the, uh, the partying kind of drug. It's like the, um, yeah, raving drug. Uh, and what's happening is, yeah, there's been a, there's been an uptick or there was in the winter, there was an uptick and, um, there's been an uptick and people getting really, uh, hurt and really, um, people getting robbed. People get, it's been, it's been a little bit scary, really, really scary stuff. Honestly, it is really, really scary. There's two guys, um, obviously women are, are, are heavily targeted, but it does happen to guys too. Um, there's two guys at the, at the club, right? And they're kind of going back and forth between their drinks. And, uh, and yeah, they go back to their little section, they have drinks. And then, you know, 20 minutes later, they're kind of, you know, uh, they're kind of, you know, um, becoming a little bit nauseous, a little bit, you know, they're, they're really messed up at this point. They get separated, right? This one guy just kind of finds his way on the street, right? He's like, doesn't really know where he is. And, um, and this guy, right, this guy intercepts him. And this guy's like, oh, you know, are you okay, monsieur? You know, je, 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 je vous, je te peux. <laughs> good, good French here. Je peux t'aider? Je te peux aider? And he, he's like, can I help you, right? Can, you know, can I assist you? And, um, and he, he helps this guy get a taxi. He helps this guy get a cab back to his apartment, all right? When he gets to the apartment, the guy, right, in theory, right, this good Samaritan, that's not who he is, he helps this guy get up to his apartment, all right? So now he's in the stairwell, now he's in this guy's apartment, right? And he, and he tells this guy, hey, you know, give, uh, give, me, your, give me your carte bleue and, uh, and je, je vais payer le, le taxi. De, you know, I'm, I'm going to pay. I'm going to pay. Uh, you know, give me your card. And, uh, and the guy's like, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, here. Right? All right. Guy's gone. Right? This dude wakes up the next morning. Uh, computer's gone. TV's gone. Um, you know, uh, carte bleue, you know, his credit card company has called him. There's been fraudulent charges for the past 12 hours. All right, he's gotten, he's gotten robbed drugged and um and you know in the in the in his own home practically right so it's just it's just absolutely terrifying it's just absolutely terrifying um and the problem is this stuff is it's really really hard to trace it stays in the system for like 12 or 14 or you know a short amount of time basically the time it takes you to become um conscious again right and um and it's really really sad man it's really really sad you know the, the some of these women say you know the worst worst of it all the worst experience was going to the police right because they just sort of laughed at you and disrespected you and just haven't taken it seriously and um and don't believe you so it's it's a really it's really really sad man so um yeah not to kind of um not to end on a sad note but uh but hey man you know clubbing it's uh it's not a little fairy you know wonderland is it um you know there's lots of strangers out there there's lots of bad people lots of creeps and um and yeah just want to have my wits about me especially because i do this kind of solo gigging solo clubbing and, um, you know, it's not really the time to just be going and having a, um, an absolute bender unless I want to end up in, um, in a ditch with no wallet and um, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So, uh, so let's be careful with that. And, um, and yeah, keep my, keep my wits about me and um, it should be good. If I have my camera on me anyway in Edinburgh, I'm not going to, I'll be, I'll be kind of lightly, um, lightly boozing. I'll be, I'll, I'll have a fun time, don't get me wrong, but, um, but I'm gonna, I'll be well, super aware. And, um, and in London, everything should be fine, right? But it's just being, it's just being present. It's just being hyper-present. And, um, and yeah, being aware that in this, in this current climate, um, this is becoming a bit, of a, uh, a bit of a problem. A bit more of a problem as of late. Yeah, pretty unbelievable. 